CJ. This is my main man Mo here. Very, very special edition as always. Last week we talked a little bit about, um, you know, the currency and the inflation and um, the quantitative easing, which is basically just pumping more money, yeah. uh, more currency into circulation to overcome some debt. And we learned why that was a bad thing. And so now we are stepping into a realm of, I was under the impression before I started doing research, I was under the impression that what I saw was simply happening here in the U.S. But that's just not the case. It is not the case. It, okay, so my God, dude, I mean, just because, you know, we, we, have, been, we have been learning ourselves mm -hmm. because, you know, you are a trader, you have to understand the stock market and everything. And what we're going through is just ridiculously uh, insane for even to have a discussion with. Yeah. Because we, we are in, in a serious trouble and we, nobody's watching, nobody is even doesn't care. And uh, just to give you a background that, you know, the US dollar. For, for uh, When the US dollar started from zero, uh, for us to go from zero to 825 billion dollars, it, it needed... 200 years. Yeah, that's a that's a good amount of years. From there, it started going up. The printing start. The printing pay presses just blowed it up. I don't know yeah. what happened. Maybe billions. the Federal Reserve was created. Billions, then trillions, then trillions. Okay, so the first problem was the banking bailouts. Yeah, which was probably the Great Depression when that started, when the Fed was created, and it went downhill from there. Yeah. And then we have the quantitative easing too. You had explained from the other uh, show last Monday that, uh, you know, quantity, what quantitative easing is. Right. That was the first quantitative easing, the second quantitative easing, and then maybe we're going to see third, fourth, fifth, sixth, it's seventh. It's going to go on. I mean, these people are ridiculously shameless. They have no sympathy for humanity, probably. No. They have no clue that what they're doing. And government is printing money and giving it to the banks and saying, hey man, don't make this mistake again. They're doing this over and over again. Yeah, well, we live in a right now generation. So every, it seems like all the solutions are about like what we can do right now. And consequently, it's making people focus on the right now when they should be looking a little bit down the road because you'll have children and your children need to be successful as well. And so I'm wondering though, it seems like all of our inflation like we have been, if you say this quantitative easing is easing is happening one time and two times, and eventually we'll get to three hundred and four hundred. Where is all of the money going? Because the prices should be rising, but they aren't rising that quickly. Where is all the money going? Where, why is it? Where, what's happening? Okay, so the U.S. I have to give a hands off to the U.S. because they have they, they're, they're 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 brilliant of yeah. what they do. Business. Even when it when it's like. Killing themselves, they're really good at killing themselves. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, what's happening is this 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 inflation of money. Mm -hmm. We're inflating money, and the government is can't, it cannot stop its own wheel that has been going on for a while. And then they export their money, buy goods from other countries in cheap price, brings it over here, and sells it to their people here in mm -hmm. the United States. Now it's good. It's great. It's a great deal for the for, for the Americans. Yeah. But for a short period of time. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, those countries with the U.S. dollar, they're going to realize that this doesn't have value enough that right. they've been talking about. They get, they're going to send the money back to be like, hey, man, give me the, give me the gold or give me something yeah. else or service or something. I don't know what is going to happen at that point in time. But the problem this time is that this is happening all around the world. So it isn't just the U.S. We're probably seeing this in China. I mean, you, you have been researching on that, right? Yeah, when you go to the market, you know this. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The markets are, they are, all of them seem to be really popping off right now. But it seems like really is just a, a big smoke screen, to be honest. That's it's really sad, though. Tell the people, what are the countries that are doing the same thing? They're blowing money. I've seen, I've seen, and this is just in my research. I've seen China. I've seen India. I've seen Russia. I've seen different countries in South Africa. In fact... Even in South Africa, and this is what this is what it leads to. So first, let me explain to you what he said, and then let me tell you what it leads to. First, what he said is that we ship this money out so that we can get goods and services back, so we see refrigerators, we see cars, etc., for a short period of time, and then until people say, hey, man, listen, I've sent you this car, you sent me was this paper, and this paper isn't worth anything at all. 
Yeah. So now they get mad. Like, it's like, all right, now we're about to knuckle up. Like, what's happening? Yes. You know? And so it seems like we're on top of the world for a short period of time. But once that dollar now, that's not just in the U.S., is now in Africa, Asia, etc. Australia, even Singapore. It's in all of these countries. Now, this dollar isn't worth very much at all, and then people start to revolt because they've spent so much of their money or saved up so much of their money, and it doesn't actually have any value. So that income, there's a ratio that's usually a hot zone, mm -hmm. and once you are spending 40% of your income on food alone, people start to get pretty pissed off. I mean, historically, research has shown yeah. that... When you calculate the GDP and you see people's expenses, and when it exactly comes surrounding forty percent, yeah, when people start spending more than forty percent of their income on just food, at that point in time, usually people stage a revolution because they're the the revolting uh, is much profitable than you know just sitting there because they're suffering. Yeah, because when it comes to food, and the problem is, this is happening all over the world, and it's creating a lot of trouble and a lot of unsettled environments around the world and when you look at look, look at this whole scene from the outside you can see this the central banking system has been doing this over and over and over again it's this racket this conspiracy that you can just see if you're educated enough yeah because not, you, we are trying to educate ourselves so we are learning and we're seeing this the world bank controls all the central banks in all different countries that's what it looks like yeah and they lend money and then they have this, they, they make sure that you are, even if you're a sovereign country with your own borders and your own nation, you're not free, basically. No. Because of this, this, this system of money that's been controlling you. Yeah. Now what happens, it's what it feels like, is that if I was the central bank and he was an independent country and I lend him money all the time. And, right. and I, when I lend him money, I get to decide what are the policies he's going to make for his country. Of course. And when he doesn't listen to the, all the other dogs around town, yeah, the, around, the, around the world banks, right. this is when usually that country goes through an economic uh, crisis. crisis. Yeah. And Do it, you see the similarity, like an economic, uh, like, like, like a banking bailout kind of a thing? So their economy crashes all of a sudden. We've seen see, it before. we see it before. This just looks to me and sounds like form of control uh, well of you the u.s controlling something uh, no way never. i never thought well, that's, thought? Possible. that's not possible I'm okay I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you it's not the u.s <laughs> even the u.s is suffering you gotta yeah. we have to be very clear that's why what happened this election happened because people are suffering it's not the u.s it's the banking system and it's global it's not the only the u.s yet yeah, they have their hold in the u.s because the u.s has powerful military but it's not the people, not the U.S. as we know it. It's the deep state inside Washington. Time. It is the U.S. Bro, this started here at home. This is where it all started. They didn't start overseas. Nobody nobody in India was doing this, bro. They I never wish, resourced. I wish we had the you know brain. Like, this is so... <laughs> <laughs> no, this this wasn't happening there. This, but okay. So I don't want to get. But I don't. I'm listen. This is our home. So we are thinking of diplomatic solutions as to how we can save ourselves. Now, in in the past, when we've seen this, because revolts happen, seems like every time this happens, people always revert back to gold That's and awesome. silver mm -hmm. because they start to see that man, my currency. In my country isn't worth very much until the price of gold and the price of silver just rises and rises and rises to the point where no one has to actually have that currency anymore. So I'm asking you, is there really light at the end of the tunnel this time? Now, historically, it was always gold and silver that saved us. Yeah. And we always went back to gold and silver. Now, this time, it's it might be different as a guy who is watching the trends moving back and forth. This time, it, I don't know what's going to happen because this is a very risky point. No, in the history, this, not, this has not happened all over the world at the same time. Right. First point, first problem. Secondly, we didn't have as much technological progress as we have this time. Very true. So, there's a possibility of uh, electronic currency. Electronic Keep your eyes currency. on Bitcoin. 
that is tech. This is why you should be watching this show. Every, like, if you're not watching Money Mondays, you are dumb as fuck. I'm gonna be. I'm sorry, man. You're you're just dumb. And then next, we need to we need to build another show where it's gonna be tech, uh, yeah. whatever tech Fridays or whatever. We have to communicate with them. We have to connect. We have to communicate uh, with the tech world because, like you said, our our world. Listen, you have a cell phone right now, and you're watching us on your cell phone. So just imagine what that cell phone will be in the next 20 years, right? It'll be holograms. You'll be able to see us in your living rooms. And I will be in your living rooms. Trust and believe that. But I think there's light at the end of this tunnel. You have the opportunity to educate yourself right now. So you should be doing so at every opportunity you get. We will be right here every Monday on Money Mondays to give you the knowledge that you need to be successful. Before we sign out, i got to tell you, that I'm CJ and this is my main man Mo on Dallas Real Networks. Woo! Gotta love that, baby. Another that was good. Episode. Yeah, I love it.